What up, Wiffies? It's Terry and Salma of Smells Like a Mel. And today we're excited to show you about a tool we've been working on to help streamline the development of your next AI application. We know that many makers find it difficult to customize vision models because of lack of data access and processing is very costly, making it nearly impossible to do. That's why we've been working on an engine to help simplify the entire process. All you need to do is describe the labels that you want to predict and our engine will generate a custom trained model artifact for you on the fly. With just a few clicks, you could just download your model and deploy it right away wherever you'd like. So let's get into it. So let's start by navigating to remix.ai and to get to the actual engine, we're going to go ahead and click that get started button, which will navigate us to engine.remix.ai. Awesome. And now we can authenticate with either Google or GitHub. Let's go ahead and try Google. Once we do so, this is the landing page. This is the engine. Uh, you can choose any kind of model that you want to train. And this time we're going to train a classify image model. And in this view, we can specify the specs of our model. So we're going to go ahead and put in all of the information that we need to get our model trained out. So in this example, we're going to train a classifier that can identify the different rooms in my apartment. So let's go ahead and start typing out uh, the name for it. So we're gonna say, this is the living room, living space identifier. Let's specify our labels. So we want to identify our living room interior, our bedroom interior, and let's try our office interior. Uh, let's actually specify that further. Let's say home office interior. Awesome. And then we can choose how we want to make this model. We can make it faster or more accurate. Let's go ahead and make it faster this time. So let's dial it over to the left-hand side. And then we just need to click create model. And now we have a view where we have all of our historically trained models. Uh, this will take a few minutes so we can sit back, go get a coffee and come back and see our trained model. All right, so we're back. We have uh, seen that our model is now finished training. And if we go over here on the right hand side, we can click different options. So we can download the model as a blob, onyx or TF light file. Let's go ahead and choose blob this time. And once we click that, uh, we'll see that the engine is now optimizing and converting our model for us. So we don't have to do that work either. And in a few moments, we'll see it downloading into oh, the right hand side. And that's it. So let's go ahead and actually use it. Okay, so we have a project using a depth AI camera, which we're going to deploy this blob model onto. Uh, we're gonna share this in a GitHub repo in this video. So we're going to see that we moved our downloaded living space identifier model into this location. We're gonna decompress it into the actual file so that we can use it in this example. So we make this new model, we unzip it in there, and we can see we have our blob file and the metadata.csv file, which contains all the labels. And the next step, all we have to do is run our script. So we're gonna go ahead and run Python main.py, specify our camera there, and then our model location. And we can see that our model is actually now deployed. Uh, right now I'm going to be moving my camera around into different locations in my apartment. Right now we're looking at my home office and we can see that the uh, cl classifier is trying to identify it as home office, kind of switching. Let's go ahead and move into a different room and see if it can identify my living space, for example. And if we move the camera around there, it looks like it can correctly identify that we're looking at living room interior. I have a couch, I have a side table. Fantastic. All right, so to recap what just happened, all we had to do is specify our model inputs, uh, specify the labels we wanted to classify, click that create model button, and then just wait for it to drain. We didn't have to specify any model inputs. We just had to describe our model. And in a few moments, we had a model that was customized to our needs for our project.